So this video is going to be about exponential and logistic growth. So what is exponential population growth? So exponential population growth is when a population is growing in an ideal, unlimited environment, and it's going to be represented by a J-shaped curve, like the one we can see in this diagram right here. Um, and that's going to show up when that uh, population size is plotted over time. So in a J-shaped curve, the size of the population increases at a constant rate per individual. So what that means is if every individual is producing one offspring, then um, one will go to two, and then each of those will have an offspring, so two will go to four, and then each of those will have one offspring, um, and then four will go to um, eight. And so that is going to be increasing in an exponential pattern uh, over time. And so we often see this growth pattern when a population is either introduced into a new environment or when the numbers have been reduced really drastically by some sort of event and then that population is now starting to rebound and uh, regain the size that it had uh, prior to the um, reduction. So now logistic growth, that's going to be population growth that levels off as the population size reaches carrying capacity. And so carrying capacity is going to be the maximum population size that can be supported by the available resources in an environment. So let's say an environment can only support 10 individuals, um, then the carrying capacity of that environment would be 10. So in this graph right here, carrying capacity uh, is going to be depicted by this uh, leveled off portion of the graph. So whenever you see the graph start to level off like this, this is representative of what the carrying capacity for that environment is. So in this situation, it would be somewhere around maybe 130 to 135 uh, individual organisms. And so this growth model, the logistic growth model, tends to be a more accurate representation of how populations grow because populations tend to start um, as... Um, exponential growth and so you can even see that in the logistic growth model the beginning looks closer to an exponential growth model but then once we hit that carrying capacity and resources start to become limited then we start to level off and create this logistic growth pattern uh, once that population nears carrying capacity. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.